I think it's about time us Muslims took a serious look at our diet and our health. Assalamu alaikum everybody, this is your brother Sam and a very warm welcome to my latest video on my channel here at Sam of Somalia. So we're doing a late video this evening, but uh, I've got a very, very important topic for us to do a discussion um, around today. Um, so it's to do with the health of the Muslims and I think, you know, I think it's about time that us Muslims living you know, you know, generally diaspora Muslims, you know, it's generally the diaspora community who consume my content online. We often have diets which aren't really conducive to our lifestyles anymore. So I think the Ummah have pretty bad eating habits, to be honest. Um, over the past couple of years, especially being married into a Muslim family now and um, and visiting Muslim friends and, and my friends being married and stuff and visiting their houses and, um, you know, a big, big part of my work for a long time has been visiting my students here in Cornwall and uh, generally the snacks that you get brought in Muslim homes aren't, aren't particularly um, as considerate to your health um, as what perhaps they should be, but don't fear. Um, I was given a very, very beautiful gift recently that I'd like to talk to you about, which I think could be a really, really amazing step in the right direction um, to a solution to this. You know, because the thing is, with, with the diets that, that the majority of the Muslims eat, I've kind of, I've come to, I've kind of, come to understand is that a lot of the diets that we have and, we, and like Muslims consider our traditional foods, wh whatever Muslim country you're from, I, it pretty much applies to all of them as far as I'm, as far as I'm aware. Like there's sort of a diet that worked back home, like some of my very best friends are Pakistanis and like they, like a large part of their diet is like rice or, or flatbread and curries, like oily curries and and like when my when my best friends eat this every day, they put on weight really quickly, and it's really bad for their health. And they say to their grandma, you know, stop making this three times a day. Like we can't handle it. And she'll say, oh, your granddad used to have it. You know, I never never bothered your granddad. He used to do it. He was in he he was in peak shape and stuff. But it's but it's because back home their granddad like he was he was lean. Like he would have worked doing manual labor jobs all day. He'd probably threw goats around for a bit of, for a laugh, you know, <laughs> you know, so, so people back home are in good shape, and, and it's the same for the majority of, you know, my, my audience, who might be Somalis, um, living in the diaspora, but, um, you know, as I say, I was sent this really, really beautiful gift, is what I want to talk to you guys about today, is kind of the main topic of the video, so, this is, a, this is the Shifa box, a really, really beautiful gift, and actually, um, you know, actually when I received it, I, I went to go and look it up online and stuff, and it turns out that the, the guy who's created this is actually a guy who I met a very, very long time ago, his name's Wasim. Um, I, I know he's a very, very nice brother, I met him at the Piety Centre in Plymouth, so I know he's a very, very nice brother, I know he's a, he's a, he's upon Islam and, and, and values, Islamic etiquettes of business, and it's always good to support people like that, you know, when people start businesses and ventures, um, you know, if they understand um, the Islamic principles of of, of good business, then it's always good to support that, inshallah. So, what I want to do is I want to unbox this. I haven't opened it yet. They've got a very beautiful Instagram account, Shifa Box. If you're on Instagram, come check them out. Um, you know, you get a little, little bit of a sneak peek into some of the things that they have in here, but I haven't actually busted this open yet. So, I wanted to have a look in here. I wanted to show it to you guys. Then at the end, I'm going to give you a little um, a little gift at the end, something that be quite nice. So, let's bust into it. So, firstly, really, really nice, like, quality box, little ribbon around it and stuff, all all branded, like you've got your Schiffer branded, it's quite a nice sort of like high-end gift, um, you know, it's really difficult to buy for men quite often, like my wife and my sister, my mum and stuff often say to me, like, oh, you know, like on Eid and stuff, like, what do you get men? Like, there's only so many times you can just buy out of, there's only so many times you can buy perfect, like, aftershave and stuff for men, like, well, what do you buy men? There's, there's a lot of stuff for, for the sisters that you can buy, but, but this is a really beautiful gift, that, like, for men as well, which is really cool. And really good for your health, too. So, let's bust it open. Really nice wood box. Like, the, the, the logo on the top is actually carved into it. It's quite a nice touch. Like, I thought it'd just be written on or something with ink, but it's actually carved in. The shift out box. I'm going to give you a close-up, actually, before I get into it. Okay, there we go. So, let's get into it. Well, it's got this, um, yeah, soft bit on top of it. That comes out. Oh, nice. So, actually, I quite like it when I buy products and, and you can use the box for other stuff um, later as well. So, that, that soft bit actually comes out as well if you wanted to use that and then use the box for other stuff. But but getting into actually what's in here. So, we've got this leather leather pouch. I think there's a miswork in here. I've seen it on their... Um, on their Instagram, so obviously we know we know the benefits of the miswork, yeah. Especially like I know brothers who are trying to quit smoking and stuff as well, and and using the miswork has been a big part of it. Like holding something that's like a cigarette shape, but br using it using it to brush your teeth, 
You know, we know, you know, there's a there's a very famous hadith where the Messenger of Allah sallam, said that, that using the miswak is, is it like it cleans your mouth and it pleases the Lord. So very, very beautiful thing um to have in there the sort of the thing that's on top. Very nicely organized, you know. You know, they've they've, they've managed to, it's like a, what's that game? Tetris. You know, they managed to get everything in nicely. So we have our miswak. That's number one. Yeah. Number one miswak. We have Siddur honey. Yeah, we know that honey is you know, honey we know so many things about honey, about why it's one of the benefits, but, you know, I remember, like, I actually used to be healthy, believe it or not, but, um, like, when I was in, like, sort of good shape, I was training jiu-jitsu regularly and stuff, too, I remember someone said to me when I was doing my teacher training, like, you look really healthy, you know, the non-Muslim guy, like, why do you look really healthy? And I started going on this little, I sort of started preaching to him, yeah, I was like, look, like, I'm a Muslim, and in Islam, we believe that Allah has provided cures to things from the earth, in the earth, you know, things like, Things that are from the earth, like our bodies, we have cures from the earth, like honey, that comes from it. And then, cure, like, things that come from the sky, things that are spiritual, like like your soul, um, there's cures that have come from the sky, like the Qur'an and, like, the different du'as that we have, too. So, so yeah, beautiful stuff. We've got our honey in there. We've got our edgeware dates in there. Very, very nice as well, mashallah. And then we've got some packet. Let's open these. Let's open these. We've got three. They come bubble wrap, so they're, I think they're glass bottles, so they're not going to get damaged or anything. Um, okay. Oh, nice. We've got Zamzam water. MashaAllah. We've just got a whole box of goodness here, MashaAllah. I'll put, that, put my bubble wrap over there. My son will get to play with that. My son's one and a bit. He loves bubble wrap. He's, been, he's popping it. We've got black seed oil. Good for the beard. Yeah. Black seed oil. I know, like... But a lot of people are really big into morning routines at the moment, like, you know, enhancing your sort of performance in business and, and stuff. People are big into their morning routines. And part of my morning routine is, like, I always just take a spoon of honey and a spoon of black seed oil every morning. That's one of just the first things that I do. But it's really good. It's really nice to have in your beard and stuff as well, black seed oil. So really beautiful. Obviously, it's something else from the sunnah as well, as all of these are. Um, yeah. So, you know, like, as I'm sort of opening this up, I'll kind of talk to you a bit more about... Sort of my thoughts on how far the Muslims have come from from actually the, 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 the diet and the nutrition which is actually recommended to us in our religion. You know, the, the, the very fact that it's, it's like considered sinful for you to overeat, you, you would never ever believe that throughout the month of Ramadan. You'd never ever believe that on Eid day. But like, but this is really a beautiful part of reviving the sunnah of actually what is healthy for us. And um, yeah, so that, sorry, that last one then, if I said, so we've got Palestinian olive oil here as well. I read a nice hadith. The other day, that said that um, the Prophet Muhammad said that that, that, that olive oil is a, is a blessing, and you should use it. You should use it to massage yourselves with. Um, yeah, so obviously it's really good for your skin and stuff too. Got one of these wooden things. I think that's for the honey. I've only ever seen those in like um, adverts for honey. It wasn't like it was the sort of thing you should use, but nice, really nice. And that's in there too. A wooden thing to go with the honey. Um, so what else have we got? Okay, nice, nice. So okay, yeah. Remember what I was saying a second ago about things, you know, cures from cures for your body, which is from the earth, have come out of the earth, and cures that are things from the sky, like your soul have come down from the sky. There's a really, really nice, uh, nice copy of Hasan al-Muslim in here. Um, you know, it's actually really hard to find copies of Hasan al-Muslim that have this nice, like, leather cover and sort of the design like that. Like, quite often you have, like, sort of Western um, um, printed copies of Hasan al-Muslim. But this is really nice, like leather bound, and like when you go to the Middle East and you buy, you know, but when I was in Egypt, I bought various books, like Arabic language books. Um, I bought um, Al Ajr al Miya. There's a poem about Arabic grammar, Al Ajr al Miya, and they always come like like this. It's really nice, like cover. But but anyway, so we have we have our medicine from what has come from the skies. We have our medicine for our for for, for our soul and for our connection with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. We have our medicine for our body that has come up from the earth. Um, little business card in there. Um, Cool. Okay, good. Yeah. So, so, so those are things that we need to be we need to be thinking about. I think they have some other products being included into it, um, which is something really nice. You know, there might be some upgrades to the, to the Shifa box at some point. Keep it on their Instagram stuff. I've been watching it a lot recently. But there's a, there's a real need for the Muslims to be aware of this because we're constantly putting stuff in our bodies that that are really just not good for us. We don't need, and they're just not good for us. So, um, so with this beautiful box, you get a really really good quality. Nice wood box packaging, high end, really nice for a good gift for someone. Um, you can use the box for other stuff afterwards as well, which is kind of a side point. And then you just got got some really beautiful medicines for both your 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 body and your soul, mashallah. But 
me me making you aware of this of this stuff isn't isn't the real is isn't the whole gift. Another gift as well is that I I negotiated with the brother and I said, look, I got my audience. I love them to bits. What are we gonna give them? What are we gonna give them? Yeah, what 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 incentive can we give them to to help them out with their health and stuff? Inshallah. And he said, look, let's give them a discount. So if you go over to shifferbox.com, I'll just spell it out for you. So it's S H I F A B O X shifferbox.com, and you uh, at your checkout you add into the code Sam ten. Yeah, into the code Sam ten. I'll write it up just so it's clear. It's not a difficult name to spell, but I'll write it up just so it's really clear. What you need to put in to get your ten percent discount, inshallah. So, so even if you don't go ahead and get your shifa box, firstly, I think you're mad if you don't buy it for yourself or for someone else. But even if you don't, the most important thing really to take from this video is that how important it is to revive these sunnahs. That how important it is to to revive the sunnah of putting the right things into your soul and into your physical body that is in accordance with the sunnah and will, will, and will enhance your life inshallah ta'ala so if you enjoyed this video and I really really hope you did don't forget to like and share it with anyone who you think it might benefit and don't forget to subscribe to the channel assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh